part of me wasn't going to bother talking about Trainwreck because it's one of those films that I feel is fine. Not amazing, not bad. I don't have too many thoughts about it. But then when I've you know spoken to a few people about it, I've heard quite a few people saying they're not they didn't really enjoy it, they didn't think it was that great. So I kind of actually just wanted to talk about it to say, actually, please give it a chance. If you think it sounds like your kind of film, then I definitely recommend it. Even though it's not amazing, I think it's a pretty good way to spend about two hours. And that, it's actually quite a long film for what is essentially a rom-com. And I was quite surprised by that. But the time does pass really quickly. It was released in 2015 directed by Judd Apatow, written by and starring Amy Schumer, also stars Bill Hader and Brie Larson. And the description from IMDb is as follows. Having thought that monogamy was never possible, a commitment-phobic career woman may have to face her fears when she meets a good guy. Obviously, our commitment-phobic woman is Amy, played by Amy Schumer. I never understand why somebody refers to a character by their own name. I find that really awkward. Um, but... That's a, that's a minor thing and just something that's kind of my problem, I guess. We also have John Cena in here, Tilda Swinton, brilliantly cast, very well acted across the board. The narrative is pretty interesting. I think it's probably something a lot of people could relate to. It develops quite well. It's not 100% unique. There are a lot of times where we have characters who are scared of commitment. But... I'd say usually it's the man that's as scared of commitment. But I think it's quite refreshing to have it from a woman's perspective. Not that no film has ever done that, but I just really enjoyed the the angle that it took with this. Amy as a character is not my favourite film character. There were times when I didn't really like her behaviour or I didn't agree with her actions. But at the same time, I think she's um, she's enjoyable to watch. And, and certainly to study if you wanted to do a character analysis should be a very interesting one. Critically, the film's been received quite well. Meta score of 75, 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb, two Golden Globes nominations. But for whatever reason, some people I've spoken to, quite a few people I've spoken to about this film when I watched it and mentioned it, they never really talked to it. So maybe it's depending on what you want to get from this film. But personally, I thought it was really good. As I said, not perfect, but... I enjoyed watching it and I'd watch it again and it's rare that I'd watch a rom-com a second time because I feel like once you've watched it once you kind of know what's going to happen exactly but this one is quite funny it's quite entertaining it's very lively and energetic I love the yellow dress it's a good film if you are thinking about watching it if you like Amy Schumer definitely give it a go I'd love to know what you think of it and what your expectations were before watching it. But personally, as I said, critically well received from a lot of other people I've spoken to. It's not been the best, but I think it's good. I liked it. And if you get a chance to watch it, I hope you do too and let me know what you think. Trainwreck is not a bad film.